One day, about four years after the incident, I was watching an Oprah show, and it was on date rape and date rape drugs. And it was a story about girls who had gone to parties, had been drinking some, and then when they woke up, they were in a different place, or they didn't have on their clothes, and they didn't have any explanation of what had gone on. And it was just like watching my story, and that was the first time I'd ever heard of that or heard of anybody else who had any kind of similar story. I wish I pressed charges, but I was so embarrassed. I was so ashamed. And I wish someone came up to me and said, it's not your fault. I think that it's not talked about like a crime enough. Um, that, that guys and girls have to get the message that it is a crime. Just because it's not the stranger in the alley doesn't mean it's not a crime. Um, in fact, I think it can be more damaging when it's someone that you trust. My response was I was just in shock. I didn't know what happened. I didn't have a memory of what had happened. Um, and I just was totally confused. I remember going back into his room. I remember him locking the door, um, tying some kind of string around the door, I guess, so no one could get in if they popped the lock. I remember him turning on the radio. Um, to this day, I remember what song was playing. And um, I remember feeling very afraid. I grew up in a home where um, sex was never talked about. Just don't do it till you're married. I felt guilty of what I did. I felt it was something I did, not something that he did to me. And I really just, I really hated myself. Like, sometimes I would be going down the road, and I'm just like, oh, I just want to, <laughs> it was, it, it, I just wanted to almost run into another car so I could just die. I really wanted to die. And I drank like a lot then, and it was it was almost like a self prophecy of from the book <laughs> that I, I became a an alcoholic at that point, and I did not know how to connect to men at all. I, I was either too clingy or very unattached. And I got counseling. I ended up being able to realize some things about you know, about me and after I was raped. And it was a good healing process. I also journaled. Um, I started praying. I started going back to church. Um, and I, I just, I try to educate people about it. I don't think about it all the time. I don't think about it every day, but it does still come up in my life very regularly. And so, it's, it's very hard for it's just very unfair that you know a short-term decision on the part of the offender can have such a long-term impact on the victim. Went to treatment, um, completely changed my life. Um, and from there, my life started. Um, taking a turn for the better. I realized that I have value, that it's okay to set boundaries, um, that my body is precious and um, deserves respect. Um, and I started loving myself and that changed my life. I want to raise my children knowing that women have a voice and that men need to hear it. And it goes both ways but it needs to be changed at home. And a lot of people are still built into that old time belief.